you have been to jail before. There is nothing here that'll surprise you. Hey, you two, I've been waiting for you. Hi. Hi, Danny. Hi, Booker. Sweetheart. Sarah, how are things progressing? We had another planning meeting. Good. Now you need to draft a letter, set a date, and find a meeting place. Well, we've done all that. And it's a neutral place so that nobody will think any one group is in charge. Oh. Well, don't forget to keep a lid on things. Well, actually, we've decided to talk it up. Seeing as how our objective is to create a picture of unity. I mean, if nobody knows about it, what good will it do? That's true, but... And we're planning on having the news there, too. The news? Sarah, I don't think you should go that far. Mama, maybe you should do what Daddy says. Isn't he usually right? Renee Jackson, behind every good man is a smart woman. And if you look hard enough, you'll see me. So, James... How's the food in here? Dry. Not if you add a lot of butter. Then put some in the meatloaf. I don't know how women cook in these shoes. Oh, my feet are killing me. Why isn't your mom making dinner? She's too busy with all her meetings. You should have seen her at the jail telling my daddy how she was doing everything. He'll put an end to that when he gets home. No, he won't. Wanna bet? Okay, you gotta bet. This meatloaf is kind of runny. So, put it in a pot and call it stew. Ew. You ain't used to waiting in line, are you? I wait in line at the bank, the supermarket, the car wash, just like everybody else. You ain't waiting. You ever wait in a food stamps line or a check cashing line? Well, this ain't nothing. Hey, can I come next week, too? April, this is not going to be a regular thing. No, but you must like this guy a lot to come see him two weeks in a row. He's a friend. When was the last time you visited your uncle? Before my mom got crack crazy, we came every month. My granny and I came at Christmas. That's why my name's on the visitor's list. The visitor's list? Yeah. Your name's got to be on the visitor's list so you don't get in. would appreciate that. He's one of the best appellate attorneys in the state. Don't piss him off, Brian. He'll get over it. How do you do it, Brian? I mean, day after day in this place. Well, there have been times when I, I thought I was going to implode. But like almost everything else, you get used to it. I do a thousand fingertip push-ups a day just to stay on the safe side. Can I make sure that I only sleep a few hours a day? I do not want to sleep my life away. The rest of the time, I read, I write, and I pray. I could take a few tips from you. We used to talk about doing a lot together, you remember? Jackson and Harmon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how's your practice? I'm doing some interesting cases. My clients are happy. And what about passion, Renee? I mean, I don't see it in your eyes. I mean, your eyes used to be on fire. But it's very hard to see anything through this glass, Brian. Do you have a man in your life? No one special? I could tell that. How? You learn to live by your instinct in here. Put your hand on the glass. habeas corpus you have my heart in your hands give it back or let me testify 
I've committed crimes that have forced me into a prison of my own making. But in spite of everything, there is one thing I've done right, and that is loving you. I may not ever see the stars twinkling at night, the miracle of birth, or bacon frying in a pan, but I see your smile, and that is freedom to me. Tell me you're not seriously considering dating this man. Oh, he's such a brilliant, compassionate... Murderer. It was self-defense. It's a bad poem. You're really scaring me. I've never heard you describe a man using adjectives you used to describe your father. Bill was smart. Smart. Not brilliant. You used to get mad if he, he made you wait 10 minutes for a drink. Now you're driving six hours to go make goo-goo eyes at some lifer behind bulletproof plexiglass. He's just so hypnotizing. Serial killers are like that. Oh, don't get your panties in a bunch. I'm just going to take him a bunch of books next week. Put them in the mail. <sighs> I've lost my mind, haven't I? Let me just tell you this. If you fall in love with this guy, I will kill you with my own two hands. Frying bacon in a pan. Get a life. When you came to get April the other day and I told you I needed to see a doctor, you didn't say a thing to me. But now that you heard that I knew Dr. King, all of a sudden you want to chat it up just because you're writing a book. I did bring you aspirins. How you feel today? Worried. I lost my job last week on account of my headaches. I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, we don't got it going on like Renee. Well, you know, she had some tough times, too. Well, when she was younger than you, she marched in demonstrations and was attacked by police dogs and thrown in jail. She was in jail? Well, I'll be.